Hey people, how's it going? Welcome to the Funhouse and we are back again with another movie reaction commentary. Today we're going to be watching The Third Man. Now I know, it's hard to believe that a grown man like me hasn't seen this film after all this time. And a supposed film buff at that. This is another one from the blockbuster video days. I saw it on the shelf all the time but never got around to watching it. I remember we had a VHS copy even after we transitioned to DVDs and it just sat there. I think it eventually ended up in the sale bin, never to be seen or heard of again. But we're gonna change all that today by finally watching it. So let's not waste any more time and jump right into it. If you do get any value from this video, hit the like button, subscribe and share. Are you ready? Let's go. So I already know this this music, this piece of music, I'm familiar with it. I'm not sure if this was created for this film or if it's a, just a piece of music that was recorded and was used in the film. That's interesting, it, it said screen play. So they literally saw it as a play for the screen. Let's see what this is about now. So we're in Vienna. I really got to know it in the classic period of the black market. Of course, a situation like that does tempt amateurs, but you know, they can't stay the course like a professional. Vienna doesn't really look any worse than a lot of other European cities. Bombed about a bit. Now Martins was broke and Lyme had offered him some sort of, I don't know, some sort of a job, happy as a lark and without a cent. Very curious intro. quintessentially British narration there at the beginning. Speak English? Already gone. Who? Um, his friends. No. Uh, coffin. Coffin? Hell. Or in, in heaven. <laughs> Hell is up, heaven is down. <laughs> Who's the fellow called Lime? Fellow called Lime. <laughs> Aufgefahren den Himmel, sieht sie zur rechten Hand Gott, yeah, und dann in der kommen wir zur rechten die Lebendigen und die Toten. So I wonder if this is going to be a real time story or is it going to be a flashback story? Like a lift to town? I've got a car here. Where have I seen that guy before? Is he the guy in Brief Encounter? My name's Callaway. Martins. Maybe not. You had a bit of a shock, haven't you? You could do with a drink. I never so lonesome in my life till he showed up. And you see him last? He's plying him with liquor and asking questions. <laughs> Didn't his uh, black leather coat give you a give you a clue? The worst racketeer that ever made a dirty living in this city. Policeman, huh? Come on, have another drink. Why don't you catch a few murderers for a change? Well, you could say that murder was part of his racket. He's only a scribbler <laughs> with too much drink in him. Listen, Callahan. Callaway, I'm English, not Irish. <laughs> I love how he called him a scribbler. There's a UK hip hop artist called Scribbler. <laughs> I represent the CRS of GHQ, Cultural Reeducation Section. What? Cultural Reeducation Center. This is the first opportunity we've had of making an American author welcome. Can they wouldn't know me. Oh, nonsense. Your novels are very popular here, aren't they, Sergeant? Very popular, sir. Very popular. <laughs> and this is where he died. Even at the end, his thoughts were of you. I can't remember the exact words, Holly. I may call you Holly, mayn't I? He was anxious I should look after you when you arrived. This little dog. But he said he died instantaneously. Well, he died before the ambulance could reach us. This friend of his, uh, who is he? A Romanian. He, he has left Vienna. Hmm. What is going on here? What's the name of this girl? I don't know. <laughs> you do better to think of yourself. <laughs> I'll be all right. I'm so glad I met you. A master of suspense. Hmm. This is a strange interaction. If you'd like to add something a little bit different to your reading list, or you'd like to add something a bit more unique to your physical media collection, then check out my catalogue of published screenplays. I've covered a wide variety of genres, so you should have plenty to choose from. You can get started by downloading a free sample of one of my author's picks, linked in the description. 
Just remember to check your downloads folder to confirm that the file transfer was a success. Back to the video. Would you like some tea? Thank you. Someone threw me this packet last week. That was a bouquet to from an American. Would you rather have whiskey? Well, tea's fine. Good, I wanted to sell it. I wanted to talk to you. No, thank you. I wanted to talk to you about it. I am intrigued by this story. Everyone is hiding something. You were in love with him, weren't you? I don't know. I don't know anything anymore except I want to be dead too. Some more tea? I wondered about it a hundred times if it really was an accident. Mm. What difference does it make? He's dead, isn't he? But if it wasn't a... I was actually expecting to see a bit more of Orson Welles here. So I'm, I'm surprised the way this is going. Is that where he was staying? Wow. And she seemed very familiar with the space. If he was killed at once, how could he have talked about me and this lady here? Oh. Why didn't you say all this at the inquest? Uh, See? I, man. <laughs> Everyone is hiding something. Three men helped to carry your friend to the statue. Kurtz? Yes. The Romanian? Yes. And? There was a third man. He didn't give evidence. You don't mean the doctor? No, no, no. He came later. Hello. Who is that? Oh, Dutch angle. I like the lighting as well. It's very noir, very detective. I have no evidence. I, I, I saw nothing. I said nothing. And I'm liking the, the, the dual language here. You must go at once, please. There's different languages, but they don't fill us in on what they're saying. Hmm. What's with the kid? And was the ball a different color when he picked it up? The police is there. They look for papers and read all their books. There's still the Österreich police there. Americana. So see, where she lives isn't as nice as where the other guy was, but he had a picture of her. She seemed very familiar with where everything was. What the devil? Wow. Miss Schmidt, I should like to see your papers, please. Don't you give him anything? It's very good, certainly. How much did you pay for this? So, it's fabricated. It's a fake. Must you take those? They'll be returned, miss. There was a third man there. I'm not interested in whether a racketeer like Lyme was killed by his friends or by an accident. The only important thing is that he's dead. Tactful, too, aren't we, Callahan? Callaway. <laughs> I'm loving this little motif with the name, saying his name wrong. Wonder where that's going to go, or is it just a running joke? I'll uh, straighten out all this nonsense about Harry. UPI. Yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, sir. I'm pretty sure she's playing him, man. She's playing him. She's not as innocent as she's portraying herself to be. Is Dr. Winkle in? Dr. Winkle. So he's come to town to see a man. The man is dead. Apparently he was hit by a vehicle. He went to the funeral, came across this woman, a, what was it? Romanian. He's had a running with the, the authorities who's British. So far, all I can tell is that everybody is hiding something. Who was the third man? I was told that the third man helped you and Kurtz carry the body. There were just the two of us. Me and the bell. I'm getting the sense that this Harry guy, he faked his death. Is he Wells? Police say he was mixed up in some uh, racket. Oh, that's quite impossible. Who is Orson Wells in this film? That's a nice girl, that. But she ought to go careful in Vienna. Everybody ought to go careful in a city like this. So four of them, four of them are part of this conspiracy. Come tonight. My wife falls out. All right, I'll come back, but shh. Oh, he's gone. They're tying up loose ends. When he was 14, he taught me the three card trick. That's growing up fast. He never grew up. The world grew up around him, that's all. That's a good line. The world grew up around him. You fall in love again. Don't you see, I don't want to. I don't ever want to. We're both in it, Harry. Holly. See, there's that name. Everyone keeps getting everyone's name wrong. Oh, uh, what is the uh, close? The porter is Odraft. Kaput. Wow, he is going, <laughs> little man 
one is going for it. When their system in what you destroyed the right cop dot. I think you did it. What? All the <laughs> Why are they letting this little kid take charge? Sneak out of the other way and go back to your theater. I would better not see you again. Be sensible. Tell Major Calloway. This isn't Santa Fe. I'm not a sheriff and you aren't a cowboy. <laughs> In Vienna, there hasn't been enough penicillin to go around. So a nice trade started here. Stealing penicillin from the military hospitals, diluting it to make it go further, and selling it to patients. They used some of this diluted penicillin against meningitis. The lucky children died. The unlucky ones went off their heads. You can see them now in the mental ward. That wow. was the racket Harry Lyme organized. Pain, pain, pain. I got the muddle. <laughs> this is such a distinct instrument you're being used for the music. Go back to the hotel and do keep out of trouble. I'm sorry, Martins. I'm sorry, too. There's a lot of Dutch angle shots in this film. Look, there's another one. Dutch angles just give you the sense of something is off, something is not quite right. Kitty, here, kitty, kitty, here, kitty, 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 kitty. I wonder if that bird is going to come back into play, the bird in that room. Hmm. He taunted in about Harry. Do you know? I've seen Major Calloway today. That was a nice camera move. Don't know how they did that, because obviously their cameras were much more bulkier. I'd make comic faces and stand on my head and grin at you between my legs. And Turn all sorts of jokes. Wouldn't stand a chance, would it? Yeah, so who is this now? Who's this with the polished shoes? What kind of a spy do you think you are, Satchel Foot? Cat got your tongue? Come out, come out, whoever you are. Is that where that phrase comes from? There he is. Harry. 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 Loving light. The light. How it casts big shadows. Really nice. Like, look at this one where that pillar's in the way, but the backlight is. It just looks. Yeah, it just looks really cool with that backlight. Hmm. Where were you when you saw him first? 50 yards right down there. I was on that side, his shadow was on that side, and there are no turnings on either side. What about the doorways? Ah, that's why. It's some kind of hidden door or something. It's the main sewer. Smells sweet, doesn't it? <laughs> we should have dug deeper than a grave. I knew it. I knew he faked it. Could sense it. I'm marking. So now, what's going on? Why would he fake his death? So that's why the guy with the autopsy, who did the autopsy, he wasn't able to give straight answers. He used to work for Harry Lyme, Joseph Harton. He's the man I told you was missing. Next oh. time we'll have a foolproof coffin. So they got some more questions for her. Hmm. Why, what's she crying about now? Fraulein Schmidt? Yeah. Does your pass? Yeah? Peter, ziehen Sie sich an. So these are the Russians. Antworten Sie mir doch. Nicht, nicht, nicht ein Kanal jeder. Jetzt geht er weg. Na, was glotzen Sie mich denn so an? Haben Sie noch nie einen Türken gesehen? Ja. He's just like... 
That was it? Your lipstick. Now then, Miss Schmidt. I'm not interested in your forged papers. That's purely a Russian case. See, this guy reminds me of Michael Fassbender's character in Inglorious Bastards. Just his whole look with the moustache and the beret and the military uniform. It was the first thing I thought of, but I didn't say anything. I wish he was there. He would be safe from all of you then. Finkel, look who is here. You tell Harry I want to see it. <laughs> Tell him I'll wait by that wheel there. They would have took him out if he went up there. Is he going to turn up or is it going to be one of the other guys? Ah, oh, he does turn up. All right. Well, well, they seem to be giving you quite some busy time. Well, listen. Mm, yes. Where did those people come from? The extras turned up when or Wells turned up. Good to see you, Harvey. Was that your funeral? It was pretty smart, wasn't it? You don't care anything at all about Anna, do you? <laughs> I've got quite a lot on my mind. You wouldn't do anything. What do you want me to do? Old man, you never should have gone to the police, you know. You ought to leave this thing alone. Have you ever seen any of your victims? Look down there. Whoa. If I offered you 20,000 pounds for every dot that stopped, would you really, old man, tell me to keep my money? Or would you... Calculate how many dots you could afford to spare. Free of income tax, you want. <laughs> There's no proof against me. Besides you. I should be pretty easy to get rid of. Don't think they'd look for a bullet wound after you hit that ground. What fools we are talking to each other this way, as though I'd do anything to you. Wow. <laughs> no safety regulations. <laughs> Oh, if you ever get Anna out of this mess, be kind to her. You'll find she's worth it. Now, what the fella said, mentally, for 30 years under the Borgias, they had warfare, terror, murder, and bloodshed, but they produced Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, and the Renaissance. In Switzerland, they had brotherly love. They had 500 years of democracy and peace, and what did that produce? The cuckoo clock. So long, Holly. <laughs> mine, 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 mine. I think this would have worked. With your help. Hmm. What's going on there? What price would you pay? Name it. I see what happened there. He's doing this to get her a passport so that the Russians wanna won't claim her. Yeah, that brother's yes, starving. Yes, sir. What are you doing here? I wanted to see you off. Have you been seeing Major Calloway again? You have seen Calloway. What are you two doing? They asked me to help take him. I'm helping. Poor Harry. This is your ticket out, woman. Poor Harry. This is her way out. She didn't want to go back with the Russians. You still want him. I don't want to see him, hear him, but he's still a part of me, that's a fact. I couldn't do a thing to harm him. Didn't she have luggage on there? <laughs> if you want to sell your services, I'm not willing to be the price. So she talked you out of it. <laughs> it had meningitis. They gave it some of Lyme's penicillin. Terrible pity, isn't it? All right, Callaway, you win. I never knew there were snake charmers in Texas. I said you win. <laughs> I'll be your dumb decoy duck. I don't think Harry's gonna fall for this. He managed to stage his death. Death. He was running the black market. He's cold-blooded because he's messed with penicillin. So I don't think they're going to catch him. I love the sh these shots of these, the streets and the, the, the soldiers. Yeah, really nice. It makes you want to go there. It's like a postcard. Loving the big shadows being cast as well. Hey. They actually applied that in uh, Dick Tracy. I mean, the Warren Beatty dis Dick Tracy. And I wonder if they're gonna shoot, they're gonna shoot without asking questions. No, they're a bit 
bit smarter than that. Shall I go over there, sir? No. No, I'll leave him for a while. Balloon? Fight again, for same thing. Why do I feel like that guy's in some kind of play here? What's your prize this time? No prize, sir. You must feel very proud to be a police informer. Harry, get away. The police are outside. Quick. Anna. Oh, he did. He didn't know about it. The back! He really came to see his friend. It's a proper manhunt. I don't think he's making it. I don't think he's gonna make it. He's surrounded, doesn't know which way to go. What do you want? You might as well give up. Oh man. Make it. Okay. Oh, well, we didn't see it. We didn't actually see it. I'm sure they would verify it this time, though. Callaway, can't you do something about Anna? I'll do what I can, if she'll let me. Full circle. Wait a minute, let me out. Well, there's not much time. Be sensible, Martins. I haven't got a sensible name, Callaway. Yeah, that brother's yes, starving. Yes, sir. That's a really nice shot. Really nice composition there. Holding it, holding it. Wow, is she just gonna walk past him? She wants nothing to do with him. Okay people, and that was the third man. Now this one was interesting. I found the viewing experience a bit jarring to be honest. Because all I kept thinking was, when am I going to see Orson Welles? This was because in my head, Orson Welles was the star. And he was going to be the main focus. Whenever I would see any production stills or cover designs, it would be that Dutch angle shot of Orson Welles standing in the doorway. But the main character of the story was actually played by Joseph Cotton, which now that I think about it, I've heard that name before, but I just didn't know the face. Also, knowing none of the other actors or seeing them in anything else definitely influenced the experience. I had to trust the story to lead me to a satisfying conclusion. I took a quick look at Cotton's filmography and it turns out that he and Wells were friends and that they'd worked on other significant projects together. Projects like Citizen Kane, which I haven't seen. I also learned that Cotton was one of the leading Hollywood actors of the 1940s. He starred in the movie Gaslight, which is where we get the term that's used today. Now I can see that this film, The Third Man, was breaking a lot of rules for its time. It's a noir, but the detective is a writer or scribbler as Calloway refers to Martins. The authorities also felt like organized crime syndicates that had a firm grip on the city. And the romantic element was odd. The audience doesn't get the usual romance narrative. Man meets woman, there's sexual tension or conflict between them, but they end up together in the end. Instead, Anna was cold-blooded towards Martins in the final scene outside the cemetery. She didn't even look at him as she walked by. She completely rejected his gesture of being there for her in her grief. In the beginning, her love and loyalty was to Harry, a man she thought was dead. In the end, her heart and loyalty was still to Harry, even when she knew he was dead. So she rejected Martins in favor of a dead man. 
I also started to think about Harry's end, the way he died scurrying about in the sewers like a rat. He tried to escape from every nook and cranny, but ultimately that's where he met his end. This is an example of a setting speaking volumes, especially when you consider what he did. He ultimately caused the suffering of children. I wonder if there's any relation to when the porter referred to heaven as he pointed downward and hell as he pointed upward. Now that's clearly a reference to an inversion, but what is the inversion? Were the sewers heaven for the likes of Harry? Was it heaven because even though he was dead, he was still alive? And it was a great way to elude the authorities and perpetuate the lie of his death. Let me know your thoughts on that. I also really like the cinematography. It was a very noir style with lots of shadows, hard light, and Dutch angle shots. I also really liked the picturesque quality of the street scenes, which reminded me of a travel brochure or a postcard. Vienna was definitely a character in the film, and I think it was because of its post-war setting. The city's architecture was beautiful and steeped in history, but it was very badly damaged from bombing raids during the war. It evokes both inspiration and sadness. It's an old, wounded soul trying to figure out what it wants to be in a new post-war world. Also, it goes without saying that Wells' performance was great in this film. He was commanding and dominated the screen when he physically entered the story. I've only seen a touch of evil, so I'm looking forward to exploring more of his filmography in his earlier years. I also learned that the theme song was specifically created for the film, but it went on to become an international success in its own right. I'm not sure yet how I feel about this film. I respect it, but I still feel a bit distant from it. I just need to get to know it a little bit better. Anyway, FYI, the next reaction coming up will be hell or high water, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And if you did get any value from this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. 500 years of democracy and peace, and what did that produce? The cuckoo clock. So long, Harry.